Welcome back to Gotham Comedy Live. Our next comic, you've actually seen him on Boardwalk Empire. Give it up for Nick Novicki, everybody. Yeah, come on. Keep it going for my manservant. What's going on? How are you guys? I'm here representing the Lannisters, so just wanted to say hi. Couple Game of Thrones fans, nice. There you go. Yeah. I'm in a weird stage in my career where I get recognized a lot from TV, but people have no idea what they know me from. So it goes from being really exciting to really awkward. Because people come up, they're like, oh my God, what do I know you from? And then I'm supposed to kind of sing and dance my resume. I'm like, you may have seen me on Drop That Diva. <laughs> no? All right, and then I just walk, you know? But some people are relentless. This is one lady. She's like, no, no, what do I know you from? I keep naming things. She's like, no, no. Weren't you in Bad Santa? I was like, okay, he was black. <laughs> so, how about you don't know who I am? Yeah, I'm so glad to be out here. I'm glad to be out in general. Uh, I've been recovering from a broken arm, which has been hard. Yeah, the worst thing about it is that I broke it dressed up like a penguin at a costume party. <laughs> Bad idea. Here's the thing, everybody wears ridiculous costumes, but people don't think about what they're gonna look like crying in that costume. <laughs> you need to think about what a penguin looks like crying as you're putting the wings on. Eh? My girlfriend sold it so hard though, she's like, we're both little people, we should do it, it'll be awesome, it'll be ironic, let's do it. In the bottom of my heart, I was like, I don't think we should go out anymore. Uh, <laughs> should probably just break up. <laughs> but I did it, because guys do whatever women want us to do, so I was like, I've always wanted to be a penguin, yeah. <laughs> So we go to the party, and within two minutes of getting there, I walk in, I grab a drink, and I break my arm. Literally, I walk, I get the drink, I'm like, oh, that must be the restroom, right? And I'm looking at this open doorway, and I'm like, oh, where's the light switch? And it's a pitch black staircase. I just start falling down. And it's one of the falls you never know when you're done falling. You know, I'm just like, ah, 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 ah. I spilled the red drink all over the white part of my penguin belly. And I felt like, because I was dressed like a penguin, people rooting for me to fall. <laughs> you know, like I hear somebody like, fall, penguin, fall. You're a penguin, you should slide. <laughs> and I'm down there and I'm just like, ah, I'm all disheveled, I'm yelling for help, but there's loud music, no one can hear me. I'm like, penguin down. <laughs> no one cares. So I gotta do the sad penguin waddle up the stairs. Like, ah, ah, ah. I see my girl, I'm just like, Teal, ah, uh, ah. Uh. She's like, you are really into this penguin thing. I was like, yes, I like to waddle. We're engaged, which is, uh, it's cool, yeah. Don't clap, don't clap. I don't know if it's gonna work, so. I don't understand women, it's not my fault. I grew up with brothers. Like, I grew up watching sports. My favorite thing to do is watching football, and she likes to cry, so we don't. She's emotional. It, it's now getting to the point when she cries and it's not my fault, I get excited. You know, I'm just like, yes. She's like, why are you happy? I'm like, I'm just happy I'm here for you, baby. Just happy. <laughs> but I try being romantic, you know, like for Valentine's Day, I got her roses. And late at night, I came in after a show and I sprinkled the roses on the ground. But I woke her up in the process, which I don't even know that's possible because flowers are the lightest thing in the world. <laughs> But somehow the sound of romance woke her up out of a deep sleep. Just put it down, she's like, what are you doing? I was like, nothing. Ugh. I got startled, so I kind of hid the flowers in a I'm um, robbing you kind of pose. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, nothing, go back to bed. Where's your jewelry? You know, what's going on? And she's like, no, tell me, what are you doing? Tell me what else. I'm like, nothing, just go back to bed. She's like, stop telling me what to do. Now we're in a fight as I have roses in my hands. She's weird and she gets up now and she's just mad and she doesn't have her glasses on so she can't really see and she's just walking and she slips on the flowers. And she's like, what is this crap on the ground? I was like, oh, you better take a better look. And she goes and realizes they're flowers and she starts to cry. She's like, oh my God, you got me flowers. That was so sweet of you. I was like, you might as well keep crying because the romance is done and you've ruined it for yourself. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. No, she, she's awesome, though. No, she is, man. We just got a new neighbor. Did you ever meet anybody who's so old they can only communicate in stories? 
seriously, all the small talk goes right out the door and boom, story. <laughs> I met him, I was like, hey, what's going on? My name's Nick, I'm your neighbor. He's like, I'll tell you about Korea. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I wanna know. Uh, please don't kill me. Cause you can't mess with old people. Old people were born knowing how to fight, you know? They didn't grow up playing video games, they grew up punching each other in the face. You know? And I always wanted to learn how to fight, but I'm too cheap to learn correctly. Like I took boxing lessons, but I got them off a of Groupon. I showed up, my trainer had one eye. I was like, I don't know if I wanna train that hard. Uh, teach me most of what you learn, minus losing your eye. And right away, he's like, Nick, I gotta see where you are physically. He's really intense. He's like, put your arms out straight. I was like, I put him out. He goes, your arms don't go perfectly straight, so I don't think you ever become a professional fighter. I was like, dude, what about me says I'm trying to be a professional fighter? I'm trying to stay in shape, man. He's like, but if you're ever in a dangerous situation with all your might, you gotta just lean in and hit him with everything you have, and you might be able to knock him out. But then you should just run. He's like, actually, that's a bad idea, because he'll catch you. What you need to do is you need to start carrying a gun. I said, like, carry a gun? What kind of boxing lessons are these? And what kind of party think I'm going to all of a sudden I need a gun? My life is not that serious. I'm not gonna be like, what, son? What, what? What'd you say about the giant, son? What? I took boxing lessons, son. Boxing. I will shoot you. Yeah. All right. I, I'm from New York, man. I, I love being out here. It's awesome. It's awesome being out here, but I miss it because I live in LA now and people out there, they don't like to fight, you know? I miss that. I miss that about East Coast people. They like to fight. Like LA, sometimes there'll be like a vegetarian fight. Like, like is there gluten in this muffin? And I'm like, well, maybe, I don't know. How can you tell? Yeah. But like out here, man, people just fight for no reason, man. And I love that, man. Like, I don't like to fight, but I'm that guy that likes causing fights in the background. You know, I love just walking in the back like, you gonna let him say that? <laughs> get him, baby, get him. Get him. But certain people, like, they deserve to be in fights, right? Like certain people, like, like they act like they're filming on the Jersey Shore and they're not. They're just yelling at their girlfriend for no reason. Like, what are you doing? I told you not to park there. I love just kind of walking back being like, she slept with my cousin. And then I just kind of watch. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people have been getting in trouble out here for, for weed, man. That's, that's, I think weed should be legal, you know? I think it should. Unless you're over 35 and live with your parents, then you should just go to jail, you know? Cause there's a lot of productive potheads, like Obama, all right, he smokes. <laughs> Santa Claus smokes. If Santa doesn't smoke, then why else does he break into people's houses and steal milk and cookies? <laughs> I used to smoke, but it was bad for certain things like working. Yeah. Cause I used to work on an ice cream truck. Here's a general rule of thumb. Two potheads should not run an ice cream truck together. Cause we used to smoke so much weed, we get too paranoid to stop for the kids. Just keep driving. Cause the kids will come running up like, ice cream man, ice cream man, what do you, what do you? Did you ever notice when a kid doesn't know what he wants, he looks terrified and like he has to pee at the same time? He'd be like, uh, 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 what do you, what do you, what do you have? We'd be like, what do you mean what do we have? We're an ice cream truck, we got ice cream, right? The kid knows, drive, drive, drive. <laughs> All right guys, thank you very much. You guys have been awesome.